misinformation is being spread across the internet and Maricopa County Elections Department is on it to make sure people know actually what's going on during the election. Before I get into it, if you want to support my channel, in the pinned comments there will be a buy me a coffee. I expect any videos I put out about this election will probably end up being reviewed for ads and I'm not going to make anything on them because YouTube is probably going to be very careful to not monetize any of the misinformation that videos like this will be correcting. Let's get into it. Advice for voters. If a tabulator is not working at a site, you can still vote. You have the option to cast your ballot and place it into the secure ballot box. The poll workers on site at the voting location are best equipped to help you ensure your ballot cast. Now, there's more. Update. Voters at Burton Bar have three options. They can drop off ballots at door number three, wait for the tabulator to come online, or go to another location. So, they're having issues at this location. Now, how is it being put out in some news? Here, they're saying you can you can't cast in person. This is not accurate. People are able to vote in person at Burton Bar. Once they complete their ballot, they can insert into a secure slot in the tabulator will be counted at the downtown tabulation election center. So if you're in Maricopa County, just follow the Twitter account for real updates because there's even more misinformation being spread. So Carrie Lake, I'm getting flooded with calls and texts from people who are having trouble voting all over Maricopa County. And here we have Charlie Kirk, all important Maricopa County tells election day voters the machines are broken. Okay, let me fix this. In this video, one machine, okay, one is broken. One is having reading issues. It is misreading ballots and not reading them as a ballot. If they are being misread, they will just be counted I, probably by hand or separately, but he does say they'll just be set aside to be counted. Other people are taking the same video and trying to use the wording of misread and saying it's counting votes for the wrong person, which is not what the man in the video says at all and is not what is happening. But again, we're not even at noon. Misinformation already coming out as we expected. And don't worry, when the votes start getting counted, there are misinformation live streams planned by people to keep spreading it. 